Hello, this short podcast shows you how to create a sugar solution calculator. You're going to use this calculator to determine how much sugar you're going to need to mass and how much water you need to measure to prepare four solutions for the sugar in Soda Lab. You have a 4%, 8%, 12%, and 16% solution that you need to prepare. And I'm going to use the 16% uh, solution as an example. So what I need to know, I need to know the density of the 16% solution. And that's going to be 1.0657. And that's going to be grams per milliliter. I'm going to suppress that because I don't need to see that number. Uh, the percentage that I'm calculating here is 0.16. And notice I've trans, uh, changed that 16% into the fraction form. The volume of solution that I need at the end is 250 milliliters. And I'm suppressing all of this out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these equations that we gave you up here. Equations 1, 2, and 3 under uh, step number 2 in the procedure. So down here what I want to do is I want to determine the mass of the water. And that's going to be equal using the equation up, up, up above, uh, the volume times the density. And I'm going to suppress that because I'm not going to need to see that number. Then I'm going to say the mass of the sugar, and that's going to be equal to the percent times the mass of water. And I do need to see that number. And then I need the volume of water is going to be equal to, I'm going to take the, the mass of the water, and you need to think about why this is the case, minus the mass of the sugar. And then what I want to do is I want to convert that mass. I have my water in units of mass, so I want to convert that using densities uh, to back to milliliters, because that's what I'm going to be measuring in the lab. So you need to think about why I'm doing this. Okay, if I evaluate all of this, I find out that I need 42.628 grams of sugar, and I need 223.8 milliliters of water to make a 16% solution. Now, we can, uh, instead of having to do that all over again, we can take advantage of using a list in Mathematica. So I'm going to type a list here of all of my densities. There's the 4%, there's the 8%, and here is the 12%. That data is in your, in your procedure there. Okay, I'm going to make that into a list. And likewise, I'm going to make a list out of all of my percentages. Okay, being careful about making sure all my commas are in there, make sure I close my list. Okay, now when I evaluate this, I get a nice list. So I need 10 grams, 20 grams, 31 grams, and 42 grams of sugar. That's my 4%, 8%, 12%, 12%, and 16% solution. Now if I want to get fancy, I can make myself a nice little table, which is not a bad idea to do. So um, what I want is my percent, and I want the item. And again, this is right here is item one. There's item two, item three, and item four right there. So I want my items there. And then I want my mass of sugar, and I want that item. And I want my volume of water. And I want that item. That's the end of my list. I'm going to close my curly bracket, close my square bracket. Oops, now I need my, what does item mean? Okay, item means going from 1 to 4. Okay, there's my table. Sort of still pretty ugly. I'm going to show you a way to cheat here. I'm going to type in grid in front of the word table. And at the very end of that, I'm going to put a comma. And I'm going to say frame all. Okay, and so there's my 4%, 8%, 12%. That tells me what my mass is. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this percentage by 100 so it actually looks a little bit nicer. Okay, and if you really want to get fancy, you can go in front of the table here, type in prepend, and then you can come down here uh, before the frame all, and you could type in here percentage comma, mass of sugar, 
comma, volume of water, okay. close your curly bracket, close your square bracket, put a comma, and if you evaluate that, you should have a nice table that looks like that. You don't really need to do this table, but it does make this a little bit nicer looking. So now you know when you get to the lab, you need 10, 10 grams, 20 grams, 31 grams, 42 grams uh, for this now, uh, for these calculations. Okay, I hope that helps. We'll see you in the lab.